Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your Super NT so you can play your games from an SD card. In this video, I'm going to be using two SD cards, one for my firmware and one for my games. They do recommend using a clean SD card with nothing else on it for the firmware, and that's why I'm using two here. Flashing the firmware on Analog Super NT is very easy, and it's pretty safe, but there's always a chance of bricking your unit. These things are expensive, so make sure you do not lose power while you're flashing your firmware. Follow this guide at your own risk. I've flashed my firmware about eight times now and haven't had any problems. I've went from jailbroken to stock. I've even downgraded from like 4.5 to 4.0. So I've really tested this out. I haven't had any issues, but there's always that little 1% chance that something could go wrong. Again, follow this tutorial at your own risk. In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash the jailbroken firmware to your analog Super NT. I'm also going to show you how to set up your SD card with SNES ROM so we can play them. I'm going to be setting up both of my SD cards on a Windows PC, but this will also work with Mac or Linux. Let's go ahead and move over to my PC and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get the jailbreak firmware on our firmware SD card. I'm using two SD cards. Like I said, you can always use one, but they do recommend only having the firmware on a single SD. So I'll be using one for firmware, one for games. Down here, I've just named it SD and I formatted it FAT32. It has to be formatted FAT32. We're gonna head over to Smoke Monsters Packs on GitHub. I'll leave a link in the description. Read through this, it tells you everything you need. Format a two gigabyte or larger SD card to FAT32. We're just gonna place the firmware right on there. Plug it into the Super NT. Turn it on, the light on the Super NT will flash when it's done flashing, the firmware is done. I have gone from jailbroken firmware to stock firmware. If you wanna do that, you can always download the stock firmware over here at Super NT's website. But I wanna jailbreak this thing. Here's the section on organizing ROMs. Now it does support default, which would be the way we're gonna set it up. You can also use the Super EverDrive method or the SD to SNES method. You might be able to find these packs online, but I'm going to set mine up because they just come with a lot of games that I'll never play. I'm going to go with default. Really easy to do. Let's go ahead and grab the jailbreak firmware here. Go ahead and read through this. There will be new jailbreaks down the road. This is version 6.6. .6. It has all of the stock analog Super NT firmware fixes for 4.5. So as of making this video, it's up to date. We're just going to download the SNT firmware version JB6.6.bin. Should download fairly quickly. I'm going to place this on my desktop. I'm just going to open up my SD card that's formatted FAT32. Place the firmware jailbreak right on here. All right, so now we have the firmware SD card ready to go. I'm going to show you how I set up my SD card for games now. Then we're going to move over to the Super NT, we're going to jailbreak it, we'll put our game SD card in, and then we can start running ROMs from the SD card. So here's the card I'm going to be running my ROMs from. I created a folder called Saves, and I also created a folder called SNES. Now if you don't want to put every single game on it, you can just drop them in here. It does support up to 350 games per folder, but I want to alphabetize mine, so I'm going to create folders in here, just like this. New folder. I'm going to create a numbered folder for the games that start with numbers. So one, those would be the numbers. I'm going to create an A folder. I'm going to create a B folder. I'm going to create a C folder. Now you can go through and do all of them, but just for this video to make it quick, I'm just going to do all the games that start with A, B, and C. I'm going to snap this over to the right hand side. Now I'm going to find the games I've already downloaded. These are all the ROMs I downloaded. They cannot be zip, they have to be SMC. So if you do download something, you will have to extract it. I'm gonna right click in this folder. I'm gonna sort by name. That'll give me alphabetical order here. I also have some numbered in the very top. So all I'm gonna do is take my A games and I'm gonna place them in my A folder. Same thing with B, all the way down the list. Now, like I mentioned, you could find a pack online for the SD to SNES, but these are all the games that I want to play. Give it a second for everything to transfer over to my SD card. All right, now everything's transferred over to my SD card. I have my games in the A folder, B folder, 
C folder. You'll just have to go down the line, or you can set it up differently. This is how I like my SD card set up. Now we're done with the firmware SD card and the game SD card. We're going to move over to the Super NT. We're going to flash the firmware, and then I'll show you how to run your games from the SD. So here we are at the Super NT. Make sure you got it plugged in. Make sure you're not going to lose power while we're doing this firmware update. Plug in the firmware SD. Turn the power on. The light's going to blink on the front here. This actually took me 3 minutes and 15 seconds to flash. So be patient. When it's done flashing, you'll know it's done. I'm going to go ahead and speed this video up a little bit. It's almost done flashing the firmware. Give it a second. Your light will go solid. So we now know that the firmware is flashed. We've just flashed the jailbroken firmware. We're going to turn the unit off, take the firmware update SD card out, place it somewhere safe. We don't want to put this back in until we want to update our firmware when new releases come out. Now we're going to grab the SD card that contains our games, plug it into the Super NT. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my game capture and show you how it works. Okay, so now we're running the jailbroken firmware. We have an option to browse SD card. We're going to go ahead and browse this SD card. Please read. To save your game progress, you must return to the file menu during gameplay. As of right now, in order to save a game, the game must support save states. So let's say Super Mario World. You can save your progress in three different slots. That's how this is going to work. You cannot save snapshots for games that do not support save states out of the real cartridge. Hopefully that'll change down the road. I'm not sure how they're going to do it, but you never know. They might come up with something. So in order to save the game, the game must support save states on the original cartridge. That was one thing I kind of struggled with when I first did this. I was trying to save a game, kept going back and forth, back and forth, and I noticed it didn't save until I started up a game that supports save states on the original. So we'll go in here to A, and we have all of our games that we just installed on the SD card. You can just start one. As long as it doesn't have a special chip, like the Super FX chip, there are a few other chips that will not run on this unit using an SD card. I'll back up here. There's B. Let me find... We'll just do Battletoads Double Dragon. It's going to load it up, and we're now playing from the SD card. Really easy to do. And that's it. You now have a jailbroken Super NT, and you're running your games from an SD card. So to get back in the menu, press down on your D-pad and select. You can change this in the menu if you'd like to. I know I've already went over this a couple times, but I want you guys to understand that this game here will not save because it didn't support save states on the original cartridge. So as long as the game supported saves, like Earthbound, Super Mario, Super Adventure Island 3, you can save. It's just going to save your progress like you saved it on the cart. You're going to start your game back up, go to your file, let's say Super Mario World, you'll have 50% done if you saved it at 50%. That's how the save states work on here. I wish it saved snapshots, but it doesn't. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. Definitely read over that GitHub. And you can also go to the Super NT site and read over the stock firmware changes. The jailbreak firmware is usually updated within a few hours of Analog putting out an official firmware update for the Super NT. So keep checking back if you hear that there's a new firmware update from Analog. Within a few hours, the jailbreak will be updated with all those changes also. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.